Charlie lived life to its fullest and, and gave it everything he had. Gave me herbies. Vaginal warts. He used my panties to make tea. My point is um, that Charlie lived life on his own terms. Blah, blah, blah. Why can't we see the body? Charlie Harper was the love of my life and a wonderful, wonderful man. He slipped on the metro platform and fell in front of an oncoming train. His body just exploded like a balloon full of meat. What you said you wanted, but I really don't think Pamela Anderson will agree to swallow your ashes. Imagine me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the boy you love and hold him tight. So happy together. So how is the weather? Ba 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 ba. Lunchtime. Here you go. Tuna on toast with vodka. Oh, don't give me that look. It needs to eat. Oh, is it sulking? Well, if it doesn't eat, it gets the hose. That's better. And pick up the napkin. Just because it lives in a pit, it doesn't have to live like an animal. Thank you. And after it eats, changes its clothes. <laughs> See, uh, electric bill, cable bill, water bill, here you go. <laughs> Do you ever experience shame? Uh, shame is a rich man's emotion. I can barely afford embarrassments. <laughs> oh, wow. Something for Charlie. I, I told you to cancel his subscription to the Sex Toy of the Month Club. <laughs> uh, can't, he paid for life. <laughs> and uh, January was butt plug month. <laughs> It's, uh, it's from his music publisher. Huh. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Look. Dear Mr. Harper, we are holding... Ha -ha. <laughs> Looks like those children's records he made are still making money. Uh, say the number again. Two and a half million dollars. Ha -ha. <laughs> Apparently it's been stacking up since he died. Like the butt plugs. Alan, you do realize that money will go to his next of kin. Uh, yeah, that's me. Why do you think I keep going, ah? What about your mother and his daughter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're serious. Alan, you can't keep that kind of money secret from them. Why not? I kept from you that I used your test to drive for Uber. <laughs> Hello, yes, I, I just received a notice of unclaimed royalties for Charlie Harper that I would like to claim. Uh, oh, yeah, sure, I'll hold. What are you doing? Uh, claiming. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, hi. Uh, I am uh, Alan Harper. Uh, I'm Charlie Harper's next of kin. Yes, uh, uh, sadly, he, he passed away four years ago. Yes, I, I am sorry, too. Uh, he's irreplaceable. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I guess you can just, you know, send me the check and... Uh, death certificate? Uh, okay, uh, is, that, is that necessary to get the money? Okay, uh, how about uh, you send me the check, I'll send you the death certificate. <laughs> or we can do it your way. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, oh, and by the way, um, uh, when you give me the money, do you notify the IRS, or is that my responsibility? Mine, perfect. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, Our divorce is final, right? <laughs> I neither want nor need your money. Oh, I know that. Uh, but could you say that again on okay, camera? Okay, okay. <laughs> you don't have the death certificate, do you? No, but I'm sure my mom does. How are you going to get it from her without telling her about the money? Uh, remember four years ago how I told you I'd only be here for a few days? I think I can figure it out. <laughs> I can't wait for this to be over.
Well, this is a surprise. You visit so seldom. I know, I know. I need to do it more. <laughs> I wasn't complaining. <laughs> so, how have you been? Well, uh, it's funny you should ask. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. I'm not giving you a penny. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't come for money. Or a place to live, or a car. Or affection, or nurturing. I get it. Uh, I was thinking, you know, uh, well, maybe it's my age, but uh, I'm starting to reflect on the big questions. You know, what's, what's it all about? Uh, why are we here? What happens when we die? I know what happens when I die. You get nothing. <laughs> Mom, I, I told you I did not come here. Really? Nothing? <laughs> It's not because I don't love you. I just don't want to give you a reason to kill me. You mean another reason. <laughs> Where are all these morbid thoughts coming from? As long as I've known you, you've never been much of a thinker or a doer or a provider. Pretty much anything with er at the end. Maybe I've been asking all these questions because the anniversary of Charlie's death is coming up. So? So, I was thinking it might be nice to do something to commemorate it. Like what? Snort coke off a hooker's butt? <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, more like uh, make a, a memorial collage. <laughs> a what? <laughs> a, a memorial collage. You know, a, a collection of images celebrating his life. Uh, things like uh, his birth certificate, uh, family pictures, death certificate, uh, awards, sheet music, diplomas, death certificate. Uh, I don't know how much I can help you. I I've got his birth certificate, a few baby pictures, the little hash pipe he made in camp. No death certificate? No, I, I just thought you had it. Oh, well, bye. <laughs> Sorry, I can't find any record of your brother's death. Are you sure? Uh, newspapers, obituaries? No, I checked everything on Charlie Harper, both here and in France. And I, I, I found a, a bunch of weird self-shot sex videos, including one featuring what appears to be the USC men's water polo team. <laughs> I also found this crazy rant about a former employer. <laughs> nothing about his death. How is that possible? Uh, did you ever see the body? There was no body. The man was hit by a train. All that was left was a, a meat smoothie and a couple of teeth. <laughs> How do you know he's really dead? Well, of course he's dead. I have his ashes. How do you know that they're his ashes? Well, what do you want me to do? Test him for herpes? <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. I always know just where you are. In a pit below my house, you will always be my spouse. Oh boy. <sighs> Never put a window in a dungeon. <laughs> Yes, I am calling about the two and a half million dollars in unclaimed royalties for Charlie Harper. Uh, uh, good news. Uh, I have just received the death certificate from France. Uh, it's in French and everything, so you know it's real. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, sure, I'll hold. Uh, cause de décès. Uh, uh, the train. It's already been claimed. By whom? Was it an older, red-headed woman wearing a coat made of Dalmatians? <laughs> what do you mean you can't tell me? A, a number to count in the Cayman Islands? That makes no sense. FedEx just dropped off a box addressed to Charlie. Uh, I, I'll call you back. If that's a blow-up sex doll, can I have it? <laughs> My grandkids need a pool toy. <laughs> Cuban cigars? Charlie's favorite smokes. Single malt scotch. Charlie's favorite breakfast. <laughs> what the hell? Looks like the knife he used to chase you around the house with. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm coming home and you're going to pay. That's got to be a wrong number. You never pay for anything. <laughs> Walden. Alan? Ms. McMartin, I'm sorry. Uh, where's Walden? A little bit the Alan. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, are, are you aware she's reading Cosmo? 
It's a how-to article. It's not so much how-to as how to do it better. Seriously? Hey, even Tiger Woods needs a swing coach. I was like, can you just come back in like, what, like 20 minutes? Mm. Just can't wait. Look at this text. Okay, that can't be for you. You never pay for anything. I think somehow, some way, Charlie is still alive. Okay, okay this is ridiculous. There's more. A, a package came addressed to him. Ooh, is it something that vibrates? <laughs> I could really use some help. He ain't lying. It's, it's, it's not sex toys. I am telling you, Charlie is coming back and he is not happy with me. Well, at the moment, neither am I. Should I go? No, 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 no. we're so close. Uh-uh. Well, then it's, it's like you said. I mean, there was no proof that Charlie ever died. All we have is Rose's word. Who's Rose? Yeah, she's this crazy millionaires that used to stalk Charlie and then he married her. And then she started stalking me. Why? Did you sleep with her? Alan slept with her too. After 12 years, everybody slept with everybody. Alan! Alan, where are you? Uh, in here. Oh, for God's sakes! That's my mother. Oh, Walden slept with her, too. Uh, you slept with my mom? No, that was just a handy in a hotel bar. I am a gentleman. We need to talk. Oh, who's this? Uh, this is my son's social worker, Miss McMartin. And you're stripping her. Oh. Now, don't be rude. Uh, and I stripped her first. <laughs> should go. Yeah, uh, okay. Just remember which step we're on. Whenever you having anything. Okay, everybody stop! What are you doing here? I want to know why you sent me this hateful email. Uh, dear Mom, you are always a horrible mother and a repulsive human being, and I hope you rot in hell. But before you do, I will have my revenge. Okay, I don't disagree with anything here. <laughs> but I did not send that. Really? Who else would call me a horrible mother? No, no, it's still ridiculous. What's ridiculous? Alan has this crazy idea that Charlie's still alive. But, but then who sent her that email? Who, who sent me this text? Where did the cigars, booze, and chasing knife come from? What's a chasing knife? It's a regular knife after two bottles of scotch and some blow. <laughs> who else would have sent it? I don't know. Like, it's some wants to freak you out. Think about it. Who has something to gain from this? Who else has a claim on that money? What money? No money. There's no money. Alan, you just tell her. I don't want to. Alan! Turns out uh, there are some unclaimed royalties uh, from Charlie's recordings. How much? Uh, two and a half thousand dollars. Alan! Million. Two and a half million dollars. Ah. Uh the memorial collage. That's why you wanted the death certificate, so you could claim the money. You dirty rat bastard. What would you have done? We're wasting time. <laughs> Who else could have a claim on the money? Oh, 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 God. Ah, oh, damn it, she's found a little man without me. <laughs> anyway, we were thinking of putting together a sort of memorial collage. For God's sake. Just tell her. Um, some money owed to your father has been discovered. Really? How much? Two and a half thousand. Million. It's two and a half million dollars. Why are you here? You know what? I've been asking myself that since day one. she was here <laughs> anyway somebody claimed it and transferred it into a numbered account in the caymans and you think it was me would i be living in a one-bedroom apartment if i had that kind of money <laughs> i don't have my contacts in was that the same one or different <laughs> excuse me wow you hang a penis on that girl and you've got your Thank you. Huh. Certified letter from. What is it? Am I seeing that right? That's a lot of zeros. That's a cashier's check for $100,000. Uh, Who's it from? I don't know. Oh, but there's a note. It says, buy yourself something nice. Sorry, I wasn't there for you. I don't care who it's from. Apology accepted. Is the back room in here? <laughs>
Buy yourself something nice. Sorry I broke your heart and banged your sister. As I write this, I realize those two things might be related. Screw my sister. Buy yourself something nice. Sorry I shot you. I didn't know I was loaded. Buy yourself something nice. Tell your mom I'm sorry I gave her chlamydia. Sorry I never called. Buy yourself a nice vagina. Oh. Well, obviously Jenny didn't claim the royalties. Why would you send a check to herself? Yeah, but you still don't know it was Charlie. Oh, who else is going to send an unemployed lesbian actress a hundred thousand dollars? I don't know Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> I'm telling you, Charlie's alive. Oh, good. Then I don't have to tell you. <laughs> Charlie is still alive? Yeah, kinda. What do you mean, kinda? Because she kinda drank when she was pregnant with me, and now I kinda can't do math. <laughs> hey! Hey, what are you still doing here? Oh, I accidentally fell asleep in Zippy's room. How do you accidentally fall asleep? You accidentally washed down your pain pills with scotch. <laughs> What's Fatal Attraction doing here? <laughs> She says that Charlie is still alive. I knew it. <laughs> Alan, if you move out and Charlie stays here with Walden, I believe that we can keep this going for another five years. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. So, uh, what exactly happened to Charlie? Yeah, start from the beginning. You mean from the pilot? <laughs> what happened to my brother after you married him? Oh. Well, we had a wonderful wedding, and then we flew to Paris for our honeymoon. We were so happy. So animated. <laughs> we went up on the Eiffel Tower and went down on the Champs-Élysées. Charlie was no saint, but I thought marriage would change him. I was wrong. So wrong. Disturbingly wrong. I ran from the room, determined to never see him again. Charlie! He finally caught up with me at the train station, but all I could think about was revenge. But at the last second, fate intervened. So I booked us a cruise home. We moved into a brand new house in Sherman Oaks, the good part south of the boulevard, where we could live as a happy couple. Wait a minute. You bought a house with a dungeon? And a pit? Of course not. I had it remodeled. The permit process was just a nightmare. Next time, who's my pit guy? It's the best. Continue. For the next four years, we were the happiest we'd ever been. I'd feed him, bathe him, and of course, there was endless magical lovemaking. Then, a few days ago, the unthinkable happened. Somehow he managed to make a rope out of his bowling shirts and ran away, disappearing into the darkness. That's all, folks. Charlie escaped? Uh, no. <laughs> Prisoners escape. Lovers run away because they're afraid of commitment. <laughs> Anywho, I just thought I should tell you. You know, in case he drops by and guts you all like fish. Why me? He doesn't even know me. Oh, I told him all about you. How you're richer than him, prettier than him, and moved into his house and carried on like he never existed. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on, Rose. If Charlie is alive, who's in the urn? Oh, that's Billy. Who's Billy? The bisexual goat who gave his life that your son might live. So, so what are we supposed to do now? Wait a second. 
Are we really not going to talk about the fact that Charlie was having sex with a gun? <laughs> you didn't know Charlie. It would have been weirder if he hadn't. Well, now that you're all caught up, I'll say my goodbyes. You're leaving? Um, yeah. I'm not going to stick around to find out what he's going to do to me just because I loved him too much. <laughs> Toodles. not. It wasn't very pleasant if he missed his morning coffee. How do you think he's going to be after four years in a pit? So you're just going to bail? Uh, yep. <laughs> Sir, goodbye. I've never really cared for you. Right back at you, Red. <laughs> Walden, I loved you like a son. Alan, good luck. <laughs> I guess we should go too. Hold on. We're not really going to run because of some crazy woman's story and some vague text threats. Okay, this one's a little more specific. What does it say? You despicable troll. You thought you could replace my ninja awesomeness, you lame clown. I will deploy my army of assassins to destroy you. I will bring my bayonets of truth to the hexagon of death, where I will carve my initials into your reptilian skull and cover you in tiger's blood. Hard to believe he wrote children's songs, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna need some help. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of help. Here, try these. They won't keep him from hurting you, but they will keep you from feeling it. <laughs> Uh, thank you for meeting with us on such short notice, Lieutenant. Anything for you, my friends? Look at the help. So, uh, that's about it, uh, uh, Lieutenant... Wagner. Uh, Wagner. No, not Wagner. Wagner. W-A-G-N-E-R. Wagner. Whatever. Right, now let me see if I got this straight. Twelve years ago, your wife kicked you out, and you and your dumb son moved in with your brother. Uh, uh, he wasn't dumb at the beginning. Uh, he got dumb later on. What happened? Uh, well, turned out it was funnier. All right. So your brother then let you stay there eight and a half years rent free, even though he claimed that he never liked you. Ah, uh, uh, you're not the only one to point out the illogic. <laughs> And this brother of yours supposedly died in Paris under mysterious circumstances. That well, wasn't all that mysterious. I mean, he was taking a lot of drugs and pissed off almost everybody. <laughs> and then you tried to drown yourself, but you changed your mind because the water was too cold. <laughs> and then you got into his house and offered to buy it. It seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> and then ran free. When you say it like that, it sounds ridiculous. And then your dead brother's previously unknown lesbian daughter shows up, and you let her move in. You can't write this stuff, huh? And then the two of you got married to each other. Yes. But you're not gay. Well, I'm not. And then you adopted the black child. Uh, uh, he's, uh, he's more Eurasian. Uh... Oh, what a sweetie pie. <laughs> and the two of you are now divorced, but you're living together. If I leave, the whole thing falls apart. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, another woman who stalked your brother and then married him all of a sudden shows up and she says that he's not dead after all, that she has been keeping him in a dungeon pit in the San Fernando Valley. Ah, uh, uh, Sherman Oaks. Uh, but the good part, uh, south of the boulevard. <laughs> And then he escaped, and he sent you cigars and whiskey. Uh, and don't forget the chasing knife. Uh, and the threatening text. He said, uh, I'm coming home, you're going to pay. I'm confused, because you said he doesn't pay for anything. <laughs> I think the point is that we need you to find him. This guy has some serious rage issues. Has he tried anger management? <laughs> yeah, but it didn't work. 
Okay. Well, I have his description now. And so, if we find him, I'll let you know. Uh, uh, I really appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> now, if I can uh, offer you a word of advice, mm -hmm. I will consider wrapping this whole thing up. Uh, what do you mean? I mean the whole living arrangement. The kids, the girls, the beach house. I mean, this whole thing has been going on way too long. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people can say that. <laughs> Haters gonna hate. <laughs> We should get out of town for a couple of days, you know, go to a nice resort, uh, get some facials, mani pedis, you know, a guy's weekend. We're not going anywhere. We got a state of the art security system. Nobody gets in unless we let them in. What the hell? We got a state of the art security system. No one gets in unless we let them in. Shut up. You shut up. Someone who's in the army. <laughs> Not right. uh, this is pretty cool. Where'd you get them? Target. <laughs> you get it because the, there's the circles. Yeah, the no, circles. no, I got it. I got it. No, here's the thing. It, it turns out that your uncle Charlie might still be alive. Oh, that would explain why I got a check for two hundred fifty thousand dollars and a note that said I'm alive. <laughs> you have two hundred fifty thousand dollars? Not anymore. I stopped it in Vegas on the way here. Oh God, how much do you have left? Two and a half million. Cool. You won two and a half million dollars? Oh, yeah. It's not that hard. I kept playing craps because, you know, crap. <laughs> oh, and I kept betting on cum because... <laughs> wow, it's amazing that you've made so much money with such stupid jokes. <laughs> Stamos. Stamos. 
You're just a handsome guy who got lucky on a sitcom. Mr. Brown, I'm just going to set the phone down so you can listen to me shish kebab your old lady, okay? Bye-bye. Hold on, fellas. Hello? Kenny, it's Alan. Oh, hi, Alan. I just wanted you to know that even though we were only married for a short time, you were the love of my life. Oh, that's sweet. And you were the first guy I had tissue sex with. You guys didn't hear that. <laughs> Hello? Zoe. Hi, it's Walden. Oh, Walden. How are you, darling? Not so good. Uh, that's why I'm calling. I, I just wanted to tell you that I've been thinking about you lately, and I'm sorry about the way things ended. Oh, well water under the bridge. Uh, listen, I'd love to chat, but I'm in the middle of a coronation. A what? A coronation. I married King Rupert of Moldavia, and I'm being crowned queen. You're the queen of Moldavia? What can I say? Thank you, J.D. <laughs> Shalom. Darling, you're still breathing. Lindsay, it's Alan. Hi, Alan. I was just showing off the beautiful engagement ring you gave me. <laughs> Great. Well, listen, I, I just wanted you to know that if anything were to happen to me, you were the love of my life. Oh, <laughs> baby. You're the love of my life. So, how much? <laughs> okay, I will say it one more time. Resort hotel till the cops find them. We can be in Vegas in two hours. Sticks is playing Mandalay Bay. If I let Charlie drive me out of this house, I reward his bad behavior. Yeah, it's only supposed to happen in show business, which we are not in. Not anymore. Hello? Alden? Walden. That's what I said. <laughs> Good news. We found your boy. They found Charlie. Are, are they sure? Uh, uh, he's babbling away incoherently. That sounds like him. Where'd you find him? In a trashed hotel room with a hook in the closet. That's absolutely him. Uh, thank you so much. This is a huge relief. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, see you in the gym. Okay. Hasta la vista. I tell you, I'm not Charlie Harper. Well, you... My name is Christian Slater. I'm an actor. I was in a bar. This guy hands me a drink. Next thing I know, I wake up in a hotel room dressed like a 12-year-old with a screaming woman in the closet. You're right. I'm the governor of California. <laughs> they stole my watch! <laughs> what do you think Charlie will do when he gets out of jail? Well, if the past is any indication, he'll sober up and reflect on his past mistakes, apologize to everyone, and then do something even worse. <laughs> See, I'm not so pessimistic. I'm hoping someday he and I can be buddies. That's <laughs> 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 a good one. <laughs> By the way, when this cigar is done, so am I. Yeah, you calling it a day? Calling it a career. You're quitting? I didn't want to rub your nose in it, but Charlie sent me a big ass check, so I'm out here. Where are you going to go? Don't know. Somewhere the sun is bright, the plot is strong, and the men are stupid. That's here. You're right. I'm staying. Wow. Look at that. Someone's having a piano delivered by helicopter. Mm, that's the kind of extravagant thing Charlie would do. Oh, uh, he had a, a baby grand just like that. And it's coming right this way. You don't think that it's possible that the cops got the wrong guy, do you? Winning.